So recently my brother came by with his family, uh, with my nephews, and they were able to come by the house and be able to see all my turtles and tortoises, uh, get some hands-on time, and there's really nothing better. Uh, that's one of my favorite things. That's why I have what I have, and that's to be able to share them, uh, to be able to educate with them, and maybe, uh, kind of like I did with my nephews, introduce them to things they've never seen before and never had their hands on before. And, you know, uh, I think learning is so much better when it's tactile and you can actually you know, it becomes tangible when you have it in person in front of you. And so uh, it was really fun to be able to do that with them. Uh, I think they had a good time. Is what do you that mow down there? No, that's the Razorback mow. What do you think, Henry? You like it? Yeah. Pretty cool? Yeah. <laughs> you see the koi? The, the orange and black one? See that one? It's called a river cooter. It was fun watching my nephews get into the aquascape pond and kind of play around in the water and find you know, all the little things that are in there. There's fish in there and turtles and everything, and I think they really had a great time. So yeah, that's Bumpy. He's pretty friendly. He likes, like, getting butt scratches. Start wiggling his butt. Like, he has, like, what's called pyramiding, and it's from, like, where somebody basically kept him too dry, didn't feed him the right food, and the shell kind of grows out on each scoot, and then, like, I have a yellow foot over there and she's like kind of a more example of like how it should be more smooth. Okay. Oh, it's okay, just hold it. It's not gonna hurt you. He's claws. Yeah, they have claws. I bet it won't scratch you any more than Julian. Yeah. Scratches you. you don't need to be worried about it. Here, here, I'll take it. <laughs> Some yeah, of them they have, have long claws, some right? Of them have long claws. Uh, even my mom got in on the fun, and we brought out my snake, and uh, the guys were able to check out the bull snake, and my mom even held the bull snake, which was huge because she didn't used to like snakes that much when I was young. So I was pretty happy about that. Want to touch it? You guys find snakes at home? Underbelly, Julian. The underbelly. Very good. Does that feel nice and Very good scientific description. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
uh, if there's one point I could really try to impress upon you guys is um, having having animals and having a collection is so much more than just having things. Um, you have the ability to be able to share those things and I think that it's it becomes so much more if you're able to do that, if you're able to use them to educate and to share, create more awareness. Uh, it, it ends up helping the animals you know that aren't yours that are everywhere you know kind of helps them overall so uh, if you have the ability to use your collection for education and sharing with others then I say by all means do that uh, I think it's gonna help everybody it's a Florida box turtle look guys if you put your hand flat you can kind of hold it it's not gonna like hurt you or anything what's your favorite turtle Eastern Eastern box turtle I mean, it literally is, yeah. <laughs> Good. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a fun time hanging out with my family and sharing my turtles and tortoises with them. See you guys next time. Take care. Peace.